He's been forcing South Africans to laugh and sometimes cry at ourselves since the mid-60s. He's taken his one-man or woman shows to the United Kingdom, Denmark, Germany, Holland, Switzerland, Australia, the USA and Canada. He formed his own political party and he calls a repurposed train station in Darling home. He's one of South Africa's most beloved satirists and so is she. But this Friday, he'll have to leave Tani Evita at home and do it alone. This week, Peter Dirk Ace will be standing in for Ridi Klabi. The Friday Stand-In, Friday, 9 to 12. And when you were seven years old, did you want to be a reactor? I wanted to be a Dermany because I heard that <laughs> Dermanys go straight to heaven and they get free cars. And growing up as a child, what was your greatest, or who was your greatest influence? My parents were musicians, pianists, and my best friend was Mozart. The music of Mozart, and I couldn't believe he was dead. What inspires you now? Quite frankly, the fact that people are so full of surprises. You know, one is always captivated by the negative, and you think the world has ended. They are like six percent of the world is bad. The rest is amazing. You've had decades of an illustrious career. What have been your highlights? My highlight is having survived the last 24 hours of my career. You know, I mean, I've been unemployed since 1975. When I do nothing, nothing will happen, but when I do something, everything happens. And I keep on saying this to the kids, which I see lots of, go to schools and talk to kids, and I, the biggest fear is I won't get a job. And I keep on saying, you'll never get the job you want. Become your job now, what's your dream? When we're little, we, I want to be a, 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 a trapeze artist. Well, start when you're, nine, when, you, when you're nine years old, and by 19, you're the best in the world. What has been the best moment in your life so far? Look, everything with Nelson Mandela has been a great moment. I mean, the first time I met him, I was dressed as a Vita Besaidner, and I thought, it's Nelson Mandela, and he, he just walked straight towards me, and, and he said, oh, Evita, you look so beautiful. Oh my God, he doesn't know. <laughs> I knew. Best place you've ever traveled to? I went to Antarctica. Jesus, man, those icebergs are transparent, and the colors, and the penguins, like, I was auditioned by a penguin. I sat on the stone, so the penguin comes, dong, 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 and looks at me, does a double take, like, and then he walks around me to see if I have a tail and if, if he can eat me, you know, it's like, and then he went, uh, and walks away. I was quite offended. <laughs> what is your hope for South Africa? That we never lose hope. Now, the content of the Friday show on the Reedy Club show, of course, includes uh, the Naked Scientist, who talks and answers things scientific. Uh, they also include tech and sex. Which are you looking forward to the most? Well, I'm going to be the naked presenter. I like all the, and I love the sex thing because it always makes me think, oh my gosh, is that how you do it? Why didn't you tell me when I was 12? Please tell people when they're 12. That's the whole point of it, isn't it? Tech is great because tech is like something from Mars. I'm fascinated by it. And of course, uh, anything naked is interesting. So I'll be fascinated. Well, we're certainly looking forward to it. Good luck for, for the Friday standing. Good, thank you. And uh, to ready, look after your baby and have a lovely time, sweetheart.